shoot at least 60 frames per second, preferably 120 frames per second. As you can see, 30 frames per second looks choppy, but 120 looks very smooth. Next is shooting close-ups. Now to me, close-ups look way more cinematic shooting B-roll, but I have nothing against wide shots. Just make sure you get the close-ups to cut into. Number three is having a subject to shoot. If you go out to a cool location and are shooting B-roll of that location, it can get boring really quick. So it's nice to have a person or object to take out there with you so you can shoot them at that location to mix it up. Next is basic lighting. Now I know lighting can scare people, but it does not take much to get better shots. Now all this B-roll looks like it was shot in the morning, but it was actually shot at night because all I did was set up a flashlight behind the object to get a bit more light. Here's the shot with the flashlight and without the flashlight. Massive difference. And finally, widescreen bars. B-roll without widescreen bars always comes off looking amateur. But as soon as you add in those widescreen bars, things start looking very cinematic and very professional. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the five tips to getting better B-roll. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. But my name is Braden Frazier, and I will see you in another cinema vlog or tutorial.